What's up? You're going down the road, just minding your own business, sitting there, holding that steering wheel. And bam! You hear a big noise. You didn't see nothing. Well, why didn't you see nothing? Well, let's talk about it. All right, you've got your CDL now. You're out on the road. You're just cruising down the road, and big noise happens, and you ain't got a clue what it is because you've been looking at that front windshield all the time, just kind of staring off in space, not really paying attention to what's going on around you. That's not the way to do it. But there is a system that is taught and has been taught for many years now in the United States and around the world. And chances are, if your trucking school didn't use this system or your truck company didn't train you by this system, chances are you've heard of this system somewhere along the way. This system is called the Smith system. Now, I want to start out by saying that the Smith system and the AGKLM system are trademarked under the Smith system name. I own no rights to this and I represent the company in no way, shape, or form. All right, but uh, I am a big proponent of the Smith system because I believe in it. I've used it myself for over 20 years. I've trained new drivers to use it and well, the proof's in the pudding. I personally have zero, zero at fault accidents. So, <clears throat> that said, the Smith system is not just for trucking. The Smith system is for any kind of driving. I don't care if you're in your personal car at home. I don't care if you're in a big rig. I don't care if you're in a jet plane. Okay, some of it might not be as, you know, in a jet plane. But anyways, you get the point. The Smith system is that amazing. It's that great. So, since I don't own any rights to the Smith system, I'm not going to try and teach you the Smith system on this video because I don't want to be sued for any kind of copyright infringements, anything like that. Okay, but what I can do legally is give you a basic overview um, and let you know how I feel about the Smith system. But I want to start off by reading um, an excerpt from the Smith system's website, which, by the way, you can find at www.drivedifferent.com. That's drive different, D R I V E D I F F E R E N T.com. <clears throat> this says, Harold Smith established Smith System Driver Improvement Institute, the nation's first professional driver training company in 1952. Since then, millions of drivers throughout the world have benefited from the program. Today, Smith System also integrates driver training with telematics, driver scoring metrics, and predictive risk analysis, and provides e-learning and classroom content in dozens of languages. All right, so I told you, you know, I believe in the Smith system. I'm a proponent of the Smith system because I believe it's made me a better driver over the last 20 years, um, and I believe it can help anybody else too. Um, now, I have actually went through the Smith system training with three different companies uh, that I've been with in the past 20 years. Um, and I have taught it uh, to students um, for uh, about five five years of my training uh, experience. I've taught uh, Smith System or some variant thereof. Um, but there are three primary benefits of Smith System driving. First of all, it teaches you space cushion driving, making sure that you have plenty of room all around your vehicle at all times okay which is great you know because the less traffic you have directly around your vehicle the less likely you are to be in an accident right there you go the second primary benefit is visibility it teaches you to maintain your visibility make sure that you maintain your visibility so others can see you Smith system driving um, also because well actually because of the space cushion and the visibility it gives you as a driver time to make decisions that 
could be vital while you're on the road. All right. There is a primary acronym that they use uh, for the Smith system, and that acronym is AGKLM. Easy way to remember that is all good kids like milk. All good kids like milk. Put that in your head. All good kids like milk. That will help you remember those that that acronym, AGKLM, which are the first letters for the five primary principles. Those are aim high in steering, get the big picture, keep your eyes moving, leave yourself an out, and make sure they see you. Okay. Now, let's kind of talk a little bit about each one of those precepts. Aim high in steering. What does that mean? That means to make sure that you're looking at least 15 seconds ahead of your vehicle. Okay. The best way to do that is to find a spot, you know, figure out how far that is based on the speed you're going, find a spot, and then count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, et cetera, up to 15. And if you reach that spot before you get to 15, then you're not looking far enough ahead. What I generally say is you want to look as far ahead of you as possible. You want to look as far out at the horizon as you can possibly see. You know, if that's a mile, two miles, three miles, however far you can see, and you can see that horizon, and you can see what's coming or going over uh, from or to that horizon, that's where you want to be looking most of the time. That's where you want your focus. Okay. Now, here's why. The reason is because if you hold your finger up like this and you look at it right here in front of your face, you're going to find that everything, the other side of that and out to the sides of that, are you can't really focus on those things. Okay. But if I look at that camera and I put my finger right here, I can see that camera and I can see my finger, okay? And I can see everything out peripheral, okay? Where if I'm looking at this, the peripheral has come in quite a bit. If you're looking at the back end of that vehicle in front of you, you are not looking far enough, okay? So you want to aim high in your steering. You want to aim high. You want to look high. You want to look far, okay? And that's where you're going, okay? So that's what you want to know where where is what going on and when by by looking as far as you can ahead of you it's going to help you avoid potential accidents and just any potential road hazard that may be out there you, you'll see traffic patterns between you and uh, as far out as you're looking so if traffic patterns start to stop break slow down move over whatever you're going to see that in plenty of time to make the decisions that you need to make to keep you and your truck safe all right, so that's aim high in steering. Now, number two, get the big picture, okay? That's 360-degree awareness, okay? So you don't need to just be watching out in front of you. You need to see everything that's going on around you, right? Because if you just sit and you have that stare right out in front of you and you're not looking around, you're not looking in your mirrors, you're just cruising down the road and you hear a big boom, the car just, you know, kind of sideswipes you or whatever, you don't know what happened because you weren't paying attention to what's going on around you, okay? You've got to have 360-degree awareness. Now, part of that get the big picture, obviously front, rear, sides, you want to know everything. But just like in front of you, how you want to look as far as you can, okay, you also want to be checking those mirrors on either side at all times to make sure you know what's going on behind you as far as you can. You want to know if a cluster is coming up behind you. You want to know how fast those clusters are coming up. You want to see motorcycle a half mile to a mile back, not after it's right up beside you on the right side. And you possibly don't see it and you get over and, well, accidents with fatality, nobody wants that. So, get the big picture all around you. Make sure your mirrors are properly adjusted. That is key, guys. Make sure those mirrors are properly adjusted. Know what's going on inside as well as outside the cab. That's another part of getting the big picture. So what are you doing? You're going to do the third step here, which is keep your eyes moving. Okay, A-G-K-K, keep your eyes moving. 
Um, obviously, a fixed stare is dangerous, okay? It can cause your mind to kind of just want to doze off, okay? Uh, many, many bad things about a fixed stare, uh, but remember, keep your eyes moving, okay? And that's your mirrors, it's your dash, okay? Because you want to know what's going on with your truck, right? You want to make sure you're going the right speed. You want to make sure your oil pressure is right. You want to make sure your water, uh, water temps are right. Uh, you want to make sure that your batteries are putting out uh, the right um, voltage, okay? You want to know all of this all the time. Not just every now and then, all the time. So keep your eyes moving front, rear, inside, to the sides. Keep your eyes moving, keep your head moving. Okay, so that, aim high in steering, get the big picture, keep your eyes moving is number three. Moving on to number four, leave yourself an out. Okay, leaving yourself an out is simply this, making sure that you have enough cushion in front of you that if something in front of you happens, you're able to avoid whatever that was that happens. Maybe you're at a stoplight. Maybe you're stopped at a stoplight and there's a vehicle in front of you and that vehicle dies and can't go anywhere. Okay? Last thing you want to have to try to do in a big truck is back up because you don't know if there might be a motorcycle right there in the middle of your bumper, right on your rear. You don't know. So you don't want to back up in this situation, right? Absolutely not. Okay? But... If you maintain a safe distance between you and that vehicle in front of you at all times, even when you're stopped in traffic, leave that distance. You want to make sure that when you're looking out your windshield, you can see where the bottom of their tires meet the pavement. If you can see the bottom of their tires where they meet the pavement, then you've got a way out. Okay, you've got plenty of room to maneuver out and around that person if they're broke down. Um, another thing, six second following distance, guys, and this this falls under aim high and steering, as well as leave yourself an out. You know, having having that minimum of six seconds in front of you between you and the vehicle in front of you is so imperative. Okay, especially if you're behind a truck, chances are good you may want more than six seconds between you if you're behind a truck you know you see all these trucks going down the road all the time pretty much bumper to bumper don't do it don't do it because whatever happens in front you're not going to see why because if you're bumper to bumper with the truck in front of you you're not seeing but one second in front of you and by the time that driver reacts it's already too late for you okay leave that six second following distance if you're less than six seconds behind a, behind a big truck, you can't see around that big truck well enough to know what's in front of it. You can't see around that big truck to know what's going on 15 seconds down the road for sure. Okay? So make sure you leave yourself an out and make sure when you're parked, you can see the bottom of their tires, where they touch the road. And when you're going down the road, make sure you have at least a six-second following distance so that you can see past them far enough to know what's coming up. All right, so aim high in steering, get the big picture, keep your eyes moving, leave yourself an out, and fifth and final is make sure they see you, okay? Making sure someone sees you is a sight and sound thing. The first four are all about sight, okay? And they're all about your sight, what you're seeing. Um, this one is about sight and sound, okay? You have a city horn, you have an air horn, okay? If you come up to an intersection, you're not sure that somebody's seeing you, don't hesitate to hit that air horn, okay? Don't hesitate if you're at a crosswalk and you're getting ready to take off and all of a sudden uh, you see somebody standing there, but they're not looking at you, but they're looking on the, uh, but they're standing right there on the corner. They may be looking off yonder, but you got to drive past them and the three steps in, and they're dead, right? Make sure they see you. Just give a tap, beep, of your city horn. Let them know you're there, okay? No matter what, make sure that people around you see you and make sure that you are watching what other people are doing at all times. And that is the key of the um, Smith system. Um, again, you know, my personal results from utilizing the Smith system no preventable accidents, um, and my trainees have benefited as well. Final thoughts on this, guys? Use it. Learn the Smith system and use it. If you go to their website, which I gave you earlier, 
um, you know, you can find links to how you can learn uh, more about the Smith system. Again, that's www.drivedifferent.com. Um, and I will make sure I drop that link down in, uh, down below in the, um, yeah, either in the comments or in the description. Well, I'll put it in the description. Um, but www.drivedifferent.com for the Smith system. Um, guys, learn it. Use it. Stay safe out there. Keep the shiny side up. Keep the greasy side down. And we'll see you on the flip-flop.